Money Mark. Get set. View. Super Punch-Out! For the SNES, developed by Nintendo R&D 3 and published by Nintendo, it was released for the Super Nintendo on October 24th, 1994. Made by these fine people that would give me a jab if I botched their names, you take control of an anime-looking boxer and have to go through the circuits and win all the WVBA titles so you can rack up the points and best times. You control your boxer by ducking, dodging, and guarding with the D-pad. Y throws a left punch while B throws a right punch. A throws a knockout punch when the meter is full and you need to use the D-pad in conjunction with those buttons to determine if you're throwing a blow to the head or body. Instead of Little Mac, it's Anime Us going for the dream of World video boxing glory. Once you input your name, it's off to the minor circuit to fight a few matches to advance ourselves and rank into the title. The object is to obviously figure out the best plan of attack in order to punch these colorful characters around and keep them down for the 10 count. Just gotta dodge their attacks and look for an opening to get their health bar down. When the opponent's health bar depletes, they'll go down to the canvas, and if they can't get back up before the count of 10, you'll win the match, but they'll more than likely get back up and you'll have to put them down three times to get a technical knockout. From there, you move on to your next opponent while getting some bonus points added to your score, and you'll have a whole new pattern to memorize. This series is notorious for pattern memorization, and this game is no different, and we have 16 different opponents, some newcomers, others alumni to get through. They may have their own tricks, but you got some yourself in the form of this power meter. If you build it up, you can then use your knockout punch for better blows, and on occasion, your profile will blink as a sign of powering up for rapid punches. Every circuit has four opponents to punch through, and when you defeat the third, the title match comes next, and when you defeat the holder, you'll win the championship and be assessed on your overall performance. You can go back in at any time to try and best yourself, but I'm sure many will want to move on to the next circuit and etch their name on the scoreboard. You're not only playing for points, you're also playing for how fast you can win about. It may be easy for some, but it may take some practice for others, especially on those you're very unfamiliar with. Obviously, you'll be taking quite a beating yourself in most bouts, and when your health bar depletes, you'll be punched off screen to answer to the count of 10. You can easily get back up, but if you're knocked out three times, you'll be TKO'd and lose a rest. You'll then have to repeat the fight and lose out on that bonus, and if you lose all your rests, it's game over. You can earn more rests when you defeat the competition, and you can repeat the circuit to get that experience, but if you get through all four circuits and defeat the world champ, you'll be hailed as the ultimate fighter and win the game. Overall, this is a classic SNES game. While maybe not look back on fondly like its NES counterpart, it's still holds its own and it's probably the closest we ever got to a true arcade port. It's a shame this game doesn't get more love, otherwise we might not be just learning about the hidden two-player mode. I missed out on how to control the opponent as the computer took over and knocked my ass out. I was so ready to fake it. And stop. I'll take on any comers. No one can defeat BTB. Who had the best times? That's what I thought. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like, share, and comment on the video. And if you want to see more quick views, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. This is Brian the Blue, and I'll see you next time.